What's up everyone? ScrewsFromTwinStake.com and um, I'm here to do this rock climbing video, finally. Um, I actually tried to do one late last night and it just ended up being boring. I was just getting stuck on rocks every few seconds and having to use something to tow myself down with. So I bailed on that video. I'm going to try again. I had actually thought that, you know, maybe it wasn't going to be possible to reach the top of these mountains. Maybe the the devs had reduced friction enough to make it work like a curtain and uh, they just had no intention of people driving up there uh, but I happen to notice uh, looking at achievements in this game that there is actually an achievement for reaching the top of the mountains in the island map and that's where we are now so you can see my trail out here in the navigation map from where I was yesterday um, still got a couple of vehicles over here which I would like to move where we are but it's almost daytime now so I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, climb while the light is coming and then if I need to I'll get the fuel vehicle and the support vehicle over here this one's just here for repairs I've got some repairs uh, available on my little rock climber here but um, yeah let's see if we can get up here this is it's actually really fun to try and, and rock climb with these things Ahsoka is going to howl and yell a little bit. It's uh, actually Cody's dog. Uh, my sister's dog now. Who doesn't have the availability to have her live with her. So she's here for now. moment. Hopefully not that much longer. She's just been a thorn in my side. She's very sweet. I don't dislike her, but she does not behave. Anyway, <clears throat> all right, here we go. Let's um, actually get ourselves staged up here. So I think I'm just going to try for this. You can see sort of a dark area right in front of me. It almost oh. looks like a trail. There is a sofa saying hi. And the sun is coming up very rapidly. Uh, might, there might even be a few little winch points here. That's pretty cool. There are little trees up there, some down trees, which are, are heavy enough for this vehicle to grab onto. So, so let's get up there. Let's see what happens. Just take a real slow, in fact, let's drop into low crawl here. Take a parking brake off. That probably helps. I mean, just a little. Alright, let's try to follow this grassy trail up. Um, I'm wondering if I should go... Let's take a right here. Let's keep the weight on the front end as much as possible. We'll go back left and see if we can make it over. I haven't had to climb over any little boulders, which is cool because uh, they're tough to get over, actually, on your fighting for purchase. Sorry about the camera. It's a little, it's a little wonky. Uh, okay, let's stop a moment because we are nearing a tipping point here. This is already a hundred times better than anything else I've done as far as one of these videos goes. I'm wondering if I should make, try a, make a tight left over these little rocks right in front of me. You can see I'm, I'm kind of on one right now. I think if I can do that and get Basically, on that little crest right in front of me, I might have a better view of what's to happen. So let's give it a little gas. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't so bad, actually. Okay, but now I spoke too soon. Oop. Okay, let's... Reverse nice and slow. Oop, oop. 
I don't like that bouncing and sliding stuff. That's a recipe for rolling over. And it's a little steep here, so I have to get myself back to facing. A little more uphill. There we go. That's pretty much what I wanted right there. Not exactly, but pretty much. Got the same goal. slid backwards a little bit. Okay, now we're now we're talking. Now we're talking. A little parking brake. Hey, there's a there's a residential building actually. I thought it might have been a garage. Might have been a garage. I need to enunciate. Another one of the mountains there directly ahead of us. I wish I could I wish I could turn the fog down just a little bit. Although it feels the fog feels very realistic. Um in this game, it is it is hampered a bit by the the view distance being cut down so far. Uh, okay, so I think I can't fight the river. That little rivulet there. This car is just not powerful enough to handle uh, driving upstream in a current. You just can't do it. Uh, the only thing so far that I've seen that are the two big eight-wheel drive vehicles, and they have a hard time with it. Um, let's see. I would like to try and cross there, but I think it's pretty deep. It looks like it's pretty deep. I can't go that way. Well, let's, let's just risk it. Let's see what happens here. Worst comes to worst, I roll down the hill, and we have a cut to when I get back to a, a better place. If I can get on that side, though, I think I have a better chance. But that's awfully deep, dude. I can, I can, I can see that it's deep. Okay. Real careful. Uh oh. Maybe that's not maybe that's not too terrible actually. Yeah, it's pretty deep. I don't know. I don't know if I can get out of that without going backwards and There's nothing to grab here. Nope. Um okay, let's try this. Going to Granny Reverse. Okay, parking brake is on. I don't know if it'll hold me. Low crawl again. Um, forward a moment. There we go. All right. I pretty much convinced myself last night that this wasn't going to be possible because it just—it seems like when you hit these particular rock textures, these real low res rock textures, that there's no friction anymore. Oh, not back in the water. But it apparently seems that I was just in the wrong place trying to climb this thing. All right, here we go. 
Oh man, we actually made it, guys. This is the top. Alright, man. Hey, that was cool. Let's uh, move forward a little bit, and maybe I will transfer vehicles to a different hillside and do another one here real quick, because that, uh, that was pretty good stuff. This looks like a volcano. You know, I, I actually read somebody uh, read somebody's article about this game and how this was actually a, a retexture from the original Spin Tires game, about how this might have been volcanoes. I don't know if that's true. I didn't place spin tires. Uh, I was actually talked out of it because I had heard it was rather boring, but I was always kind of excited about it, and when Mud Runner came around, I was like, oh, I'm definitely getting that. And I'm really glad I did. In fact, I may actually pick up the original spin tires now because uh, I think it's probably worth it. That's a pretty cool view. I like that. Alright, so guys, I decided, since I got up here, maybe I should try to get down safely too, rather than just recall the vehicle back to the garage. Because I do think I want to try and climb these two smaller mountains as well, just because I, that was pretty cool. Actually, once I actually figured out a route, it was good. So, I'm going to try and get down safely. And... And then move to the other places. And I'll probably I'll just edit out the travel point. Whoop. Okay. Because nobody nobody cares about me driving over there. This is not about that. Okay. It's not working out too badly, actually. I do feel I should be in a little bit lower forward gear here. See if I can go down, take a little bit of a right here. I might be able to make it to a little more smoother area to travel downwards. These little trees are probably going to screw me up. It's oftentimes very hard to track over these. They're slippery. They want you to follow the line that they make. Because again, I've mentioned this several times in the videos, but everything in this game has its own physics model. So the grass, the rocks, the trees, branches, mud, of course. It all affects the way you drive. Even your tires. You can see the soft body tires. They lower inflation for more traction. Like, that makes sense to me in a, in a wilderness area where there's lots of mud and less traction. Okay, well, it appears we're going to make it down safely, so what I'm going to do is cut this here and uh, transfer vehicles and I'll see you guys on one of these other two mountains. Okay, here we are again. And this time I'm going to try it at night because I just don't want to wait around another half an hour for day to show up. So, this is going to be the second mountain. This is the the second largest of the three. This is the one we were just on. And I think 
because this is going to be the best way up. Although it's very steep here. We're going to give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Get over these little trees. Maybe. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just go around it. Ugh, this camera. Okay. Now we're on the track that we want to be. Let's go ahead and shift to low crawl. What the heck here? Oh, more of these trees. I thought I got over that. All right, now, now we're now we're cooking. cooking. Nobody says that anymore. This side feels like it might be a bit more of a challenge just because there's a lot more little rocks to move around. But I think once I get up there, about 40-50 feet ahead of me, I think I'm going to be okay. If I can get over all these little, all these little uh, moraine rocks, I may not be able to do it because they're just spread out just enough that I can't bounce over them. Oh man! Okay, well let's see what the parking brake does for me. Perhaps I need to try and follow that little grassy path there. I feel like I should be able to get up here, but let's try let's try here. So there's clearly one that I'm just a little bit stuck on. Come on. Yep, yep. Slow down, I'm spinning. Oh, 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 oh no. Okay. <laughs> so there's an achievement for crashing. Yeah. All right. Uh, a quick rescue it shall be. No, oh, not close enough. Okay. Uh, let's see. B sixty six should pull me right out of there. Let's see. It might not though, because it doesn't like these little rocks either. This is a pretty cool little truck, actually. I have a real soft spot for it, but uh, it doesn't particularly enjoy the little, little bouncy, little bouncy rocks and trees and stuff. Has kind of a hard time with it.
here is probably fine. Can I reach? Yeah. Okay, well I was hoping to flip it over, but I grabbed it I grabbed it kind of more from the front than the roof. Right here. Be better if I could be on the other side of it and just flip it over. But it's already really damaged, so it's not really that big of a deal if I damage it a bit more. There we go. That's why I want myself in front of it so it doesn't just take off down the hill. Okay. Now I can use my my tent here to uh, fuel up then, and oh, I only have 35 repairs left. That's not enough. Okay, so I will grab the B-131 with the utility tractor, or the uh, utility attachment, rather. And I'll repair it. All right, here we are, fully repaired. All-wheel drive. Low crawl. I'm gonna leave the diff locked because I think I'll be going slow enough that it won't hurt anything. The lights back on, and here we go. And daylight should be coming pretty soon. Okay, let's get an idea of where we are. Yeah, let's. Let's try a little more toward the stream this time. Not be high centered on rocks. That'd be great. There's a nice smooth area I can get a get a good run at. Feather it a little bit. Well, that was a pretty major step back there. It's that little rock right there by my right rear tire. 
You know, now that I'm getting up here, I'm seeing that there is no way for me to get to the top of the mountain from this point. It's just too steep there. So I am in the wrong place. But, that doesn't mean I don't want to get up as far as I can. I'm digging a hole here. that way just go straight across maybe maybe the around that rock is a better route Let's see what happens if I can crawl over there I don't know if I can without rolling down the hill again oh yep there we go oh that was a big hit too Okay, guys, well, <laughs> I think <laughs> I think that's going to end the video here. This is fun. This is really cool. Uh, I hope that people will build uh, rock crawling type maps because that's a, that's a good time. Um, it's nice to have a little bit more than just logging, although the logging itself is incredibly engrossing in this game. Uh, you wouldn't think so, but it's not, it's not boring at all when you're doing it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I've been Scoos to TwinStick.com. This has been Mud Runner. Uh, a little bit of rock crawling. Hopefully, this is a more fun video than the last ones. And um, yeah, you guys have a great one.